one. So I recently saw the Victoria's Secret fashion show for 2012 and I got very inspired by the model's makeup looks so I decided to recreate those makeup looks today. All the models from Victoria's Secrets are known for having glowy, healthy skin while also to have, for having like bronze skin. So I self-tanned my face today but also I decided to use my Shandakai Future Skin Foundation and I've actually, and this is in the color sand, I've never used this before because I purchased it and it's way too dark for my skin but since I have been self-tanning I think this might actually work out today. And it really will give me that kind of glowing, perfect, beautiful skin look. Something else that I noticed this year which was interesting was that the girls did not have nearly as much bronzer as they've had on previous years. They definitely still were tanned, but they weren't like super bronzed up like they have been before. Next, to cover up any blemishes that I have, I'm going to use my MAC uh, Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. I'm just going to be using these for my blemishes, not for under eyes. Now for my under eyes, I'm going to use two different types of concealers. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW20. And this is just the better kind of under eyes shadow. It's, it just really is creamy yet and holds in place very well. And this is also a lighter color than my Studio Finish, so it's better for under the eyes. The Victoria's Secret models are known for having very healthy, hydrated, plump skin, so we want to make sure that our eyes don't look very tired at all. Next, I'm going to use my Rimmel Wake Me Up Under Eye Concealer. And I'm going to put them in little kind of triangles underneath my eyes. Because I just really want that part of the face to be really bright. And use my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to blend that in. Now I'll go right into eyeshadow and for my base I'm going to use my Laura Mercier eyeshadow base and this is in the color Wheat and this will just help neutralize my eyelid as well as when I put the eyeshadow on it will help my eyeshadow cling to my eye and stay a lot longer. It's kind of like making your eyes into a blank canvas. Now to dust all over the lid I'm going to use a Real Techniques base shadow brush in my Dior Amber Diamond palette. I'm going to use this color, it's kind of like a champagne color, and I'll use this all over my lid. Next I'm going to use my Lorac Starry Eyed Baked Eyeshadow Trio in the color Superstar, and I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just going to use it towards the second half of my eyelid. I'm going to use the same brush as before. The colors um, that they use were very, like, as they normally are, very gold, peachy, bronzy looks. Very glowy, everything. Everything has tons of shimmer in it. Tons of shimmer. I'm going to blend this a little bit with a MAC 217 brush. Then I'm going to use a MAC 239 brush in this darkest color right here. I'm going to kind of do a V shape right on the end and kind of make it come out a little bit. So like this. And really put it into a V right there. So what a lot of the models had was a more elongated eyelid. And I'm also going to bring this eyeshadow all the way to my brow. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but then I'm going to take the same dark color and mix it with the these two colors mixed together. I'm going to just draw it right below my lash line. Now I'm going to use that 217 brush that I used earlier and I'm going to just blend this in. The colors that they use are kind of dark neutral colors, 
but they do blend them in very, very well, so they're very easily wearable. And this might get a little bit messy, so if your brush tends to get a little dirty, go ahead and switch it out for another blending brush. And since we blended it quite a bit in, I want to kind of go back in and redefine the parts that need to be redefined. Now this process is a lot of applying, blending in, reapplying, blending in. So it will be somewhat tedious to get the perfect desired look. And whenever you put in the darkest color, make sure you're just continuing to add to that V shape. Because it kind of gives you a little bit of that cat eye, elongated eye that the models had. And then blend again. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Glide Eye Pencil in the color Smog. I'm going to just blend that very lightly towards the lash line and then on my waterline. And on my upper lash I'm going to use my MAC Eye Coal Pencil in Smolder. And this I'm also doing very close to the lash line. And I'm just going to use a Smashbox cream eyeliner brush just to kind of blend that Smolder MAC pencil a little bit in. So the next thing I want to do is I want to fill in my brows just a little bit and I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And just fill in where there's any gaps. I'm going to slightly elongate my eyebrows also since I elongated my eyelid. Next I'm going to go back to my Dior Amber Diamond and I'm going to use this lightest color right here in my tear duct area just to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm also going to use the same color on my brow bone. Now I'm going to use a coat of Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. You can use whatever mascara you want to use because I'm actually going to apply fake lashes on top of this. And actually I'll apply this to my lower lashes as well. This is the first time I've ever used them. Eyelore's Pre-Glued Lashes. I've never used pre-glued lashes before so this will be a first for me. As you can see, these lashes are different lengths. I just think it gives you more of a voluminous yet natural look. So let's go ahead and apply these. I, sometimes I use them with tweezers, sometimes I don't. But typically I prefer just with my fingers. So I'm going to close my eye. Get this as close to the lash line as possible. I actually think that was pretty easy and kind of a little bit less mess than with glue. And so there are the lashes applied. I'm going to, I'm going to use my Chanel Soleil de Tan bronzer just to give myself a little bit of contour but not necessarily to bronze up. So I'm sucking my cheeks in. Just use along that the hollow of my cheeks. Now for blush, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Lush Nectarine blush because all of the models were a peachy kind of blush. And I'm going to use that along the apples of my cheeks right here. And kind of brush it back. <laughs> Now for lips, I'm going to line my lips with L'Oreal Color Rich Beyond Pink Lip Liner. I'm just going to line literally the very edge of my lips right over the lip line. Now 
Now for their lips, they had again a really peachy kind of lip, corally lip, still pink. And so what I'm going to use is my Dior Rouge Dior, and this is in Rare Amber. And how I'm going to use this is I'm going to kind of lightly put it on, and then smear it with my lip, or my finger. And then lastly, we do need to add a little bit more glow and shine, so I'm going to use my beloved Gemma Kid Makeup School Highlighter in Ice Gold, and I'm just going to first use it right on my cheekbones and kind of pat it in. A little bit right down the center of my nose. And then I'll use it in two other spots. And my Cupid's bow, right here. And that just makes my lips look a little bit bigger. Blend that in. And then I'll use it also on my lips, right in the center. On both the top and bottom lip. So in the end, this is my finished. Victoria's Secret Models fashion show makeup look and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment bar below and if you have any questions or inquiries about any of the products I used today, go ahead and look below and I'll go ahead and add in the um, product names as well as the link to where you can get them. Um, and have a wonderful day and thank you guys so much for watching.